Nick from Connecticut, we're sorry. We yeah, did. we just read your email now. We're like, oh, 13. Damn it, we missed it. No, that's more my fault than Cam's fault. Because I was like, yeah, there's no emails in reality. Whenever I say, yeah, there's no emails, means I probably didn't check that. Yeah, so now week. I'm just checking right before every podcast, basically. I got, we're well, really good at getting tweets if you have Twitter, though, too. Because uh, that's attached to both all of our phones. So we all get that. But email, I have my own email, not the other. And I was going to check it today. I was like, yeah, I'm going to check well, it. Well, I have and mine I attached like in my phone. I don't have it. Because yeah. I'm not. But it doesn't give me updates on my phone. Uh, However, to answer some of your questions, thanks for all we, of them. You know what? We will answer them in this podcast. Yes, we so, will. So, Nick, if you are still listening and not mad at us for last week, we will answer them later on in the show. And How to ev- and to every all our other fans, Brett, we're still with you, buddy. Wild, strong, baby. Woo, woo, woo. Uh, a friend of mine made a joke to me today. He's like, oh, what about your oh, that full Grandland? He's like, you know what series I call it now? Oh, no, what happened to the flow, Grandland? <laughs> I'm like, you son of a bitch. How dare you? The playoff beard is still strong. Day 22. But oh yeah, might only make it to day 24. Hey, hey, the Flames pulled out a beautiful one. We'll get to that as well. Um, last night... Flames. I got never. Quite. That happened last. I thought it happened a couple. It days. was such an emotional. My timeline is so off right now. Well, it's what happens when you don't. When you have a regimented schedule, and then that schedule goes away for yeah, like even I like haven't four done or five any, days. I haven't done anything for. Well, you finish school. You got a break there. I'm done. You get to go on a little sweet vacation there. It'll be fun. Dan, do you have any opinions? Any anything? No, no. We came to his house. We showed up, and he's like, "I'm not doing the podcast." I'm like, well, "Are we on contract negotiations?" He's like, "Yeah." I asked for Fiji water, not Aquafina. What is this garbage? And he drank You're it always spit t- it at us. <laughs> all of it. He mama bird, baby bird, all of us. We're, I'm always what, son? You're always going to contract negotiations. I think it's not a contract negotiation thing anymore. It's just Dan's a dick. Yeah, Dan is a son of a bee. The whole reason why he's not here is because he's selfish. He's super selfish. How dare he be talking yeah. on the phone to his grandparents? What yeah. kind of loving person is he? Who? Wants to talk to their grandparents <laughs> when they could be doing a podcast that has only been going around for a year. Not Less even, than. Not Less even than. a year yet. He's ha- he's known his grandparents for 23 years. 24 years. Well, I mean, you don't really have a, like a cognitive memory. They know that. him for 24 years. Even then, really, I mean, it's a one-way relationship. I mean, Dan doesn't even care back. How dare he? Now he's just yeah. trying to make up ground. Exactly. As we're getting older, that, how dare prick. he? Just wants what his name. Prick. Unbelievable. Um, well, hockey. Hockey. Let's go into it. Dan will join us. He is talking to his grandparents. And if you can't tell anything, we were joking. Yes. That is, yeah. that is what is called sarcasm in yeah. the biz. Mm-hmm. In the Actually, biz? <laughs> <laughs> of talking. <laughs> of speaking English. Yeah. Because if you've ever heard another language, it's hard to be sarcastic in other languages. Like, is it? Have you ever heard two people... Like, you I think you could do it, but facial expressions. Facial expressions are fresh. But have you ever heard two... Um, Chinese people talk like either Cantonese or Mandarin. They always sound angry at each other because they, they, like the way they their dialect it like raises their tones, lowers their tones, raises their tones, and it just sounds like they're angry with each other. I know that's how they talk. I'm not trying to be mean. No, but that's all, yeah. it's like I I would see it at school all the time where these two people would be talking. About, Why are they yelling at each other? And yeah. really, they were just talking like, well, I'm and there's smiles on their faces. Yeah, exactly. Yelling. You're like, okay, I don't think they're yelling anymore. Uh, I'm such a prick. All right, what series are we going to start with? You going to eat? Let's go east to west. Yeah, we'll we'll do New York, Washington. Beautiful. All right. So since we last left off, this no series had started. No, because we were smart and did it after Game Seven between Tampa Bay, Detroit. Rip. So this was a series that I said I wanted Washington to win. Going into tonight, they had a two-one series lead. Over New York, over the Presence Trophy winners. And did you guys hear, I don't know if I talked about this on the podcast last week, the Rangers made a pact to not use any capital letters with their Twitter account. That is amazing. And then they tweeted at the Capitol saying, so we meet again. Someone hacked their Wikipedia page and put it in all capitals. Yeah. That is amazing. Wikipedia fixed it, but there's screenshots. And and then it's like... Originally a part of the original six grouping, <laughs> they are the New York Rangers based out of New York, New York. Like, it's just because when you read all caps, you yell it. But, yeah, it was. I, I had a pretty good giggle when it came across that. Is it just me or is it weird that there's a place called New York, New York? Isn't that a little bit being, like, a little pompous saying, well, we might as well just name our city after our state. and Because it's so great. Yeah. It might. I don't know. That's a question for American listeners. Do you know why? Wait, what? Actually, to both Nick and Brett. It's Brett, not Brett. It's Brett. Brett. Yes. 
Are you still is, there, bro? No, is New York looked at as like, hey, those guys are from New York, they're probably assholes, kind of the same way that we look at Toronto and be like, those guys are from Toronto, I'm, you they're know probably what, assholes. Not even Toronto, I would say Montreal more than oh, Toronto. Oh, yeah, that's true. Or Vancouver's big, too. Yeah. We don't like Vancouver a lot. Like, oh. Canadians, when they're like, oh, yeah, we're from Vancouver, like, automatically, as Canadians, even though we're nice, they're like, oh, jeez, and here we go. <laughs> here comes the sweet, humble brags. I know I live in Vancouver in December. It's plus fifteen. <laughs> You're like, okay, I get it. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, you only have rain. You don't know what four seasons are like. Yeah. We understand. It's fine. Well, that's like that great Daniel. Th- there's a good Daniel Tosh bit where he's like, yeah, people don't. When I go on tour, people are like, what? We have seasons, and he's like, yeah. I just picked my favorite season, and I live there now. And maybe they just like rain, like Seattle. You're gonna go there, so you tell me. You think it's gonna rain? What are the odds it'll rain when you're there? Uh, right now, the forecast says Wednesday, no, Tuesday to Thursday rain, Friday to Sunday sun. So the weekend will be nice. Uh, where do you go to the game? Friday and Saturday. And Saturday? Yeah. You're going to both games? Going to two games. Oh, so you're in, saying the weekend in Seattle. Seattle. Oh, I didn't know that. Who are they yeah. playing? Uh, Red Sox. They're playing the Red Sox one day and then the next day? No, both games. Oh, oh right. It's both a weekend. Days. Yeah. Nice. One day is throwback night. Okay. And then the other night's college night. College night. College night. How do you spell college? C O L L E G E. No, wrong. C A W L I D G E. College, dude. College. College. <laughs> college. College, dude. Yeah. Um. Okay. So back to the Caps and Rangers. On uh, game one, uh, Rangers took it two to one, off a oh, goal from Joel Ward. Two I do. Seconds ha- I do have to say. Capitals took it, not Rangers. You said Rangers. All right, Capitals, sorry. In this series, the team that has scored first has won all three games. Just putting that one out True, yeah, because game two, Rangers took it three to two. However, Ovi had a goal from his knees. That's probably oh, one of the, my one of the goals of the playoffs. Got to be up there. It's up there with the Terra Sanchez. He's game. had two already. He had that one that hit the back bar and came straight out. And that was, that was their it. first goal. Yeah. And then did you see oh, like, his, my God. one of his next shifts after the first game when he scored? He skated by Lundqvist and one of the mics picked it up. He looked at Lundqvist and he's like, all series, baby. All series. <laughs> That's who playoff Ovi is best Ovi. I That's love him. Awesome I love Ovi. him. And then game three, the Caps took it one nothing off a goal from JB goes from behind the net. It was awful. It went off the defense. Yeah. Skate and Hank skating in from like, oh, I'm so fine bad. with it. I'm fine with yeah. it. Yeah. Um, Two one series lead for that was Washington. That was so Lundqvist's hundredth career uh, playoff oh. game. He, wow. What's his? What is his record? If you had to guess, although you just saw this. I game. didn't actually. No. See okay. It. No. Uh, fifty three and forty seven. Forty eight and fifty one. Surprising, isn't? It? Oh no! Wait, it'd be forty and fifty two. Yeah. Because that's I can do math. Okay. Yeah. Um, as of right now, Not really super surprising because they yeah they're playing. The they game never right win now. at the end of the year, so like normally you know. Yeah, I guess so. I guess so. Uh, anything else to say about this series? I like this series. It's not bad. I haven't it hasn't been it. the boring series that one of us predicted it to be. Are you done talking to your grandparents yet? No? Okay. No. Oh, we'll just keep going. It's okay. We got this on our backs. Yeah, we got... we're fine. We'll carry the show What's down. What's that quote? It's like, don't complain about heavier load. Just ask for wider shoulders. I messed that up. But there's a quote out there somewhere like that along the line. I sure nailed we'll go it. With that. Nailed yeah. it. I'll high five myself. Good you're, job, Cam. <laughs> I am. You're next out se- to lunch this week. I am. Uh, next series, uh, Tampa Bay Lightning taking on the Montreal Canadiens. Now, Can- to preface this, Tampa Bay Can- went, Can- had the series five uh, nothing. Five nothing regular regular season. They go into game one. They win two to one. In and for our French listeners, that is Saint Gagnero de Zero for the Canadian. Wow, I'm proud of you, Greg. Yeah, what I can you? speak the French. Single, eh, yeah. Oh, wait. I don't know zero in Spanish, but I know one to, like, <laughs> 100. <laughs> zero? I don't know. You're asking the wrong person. I oh, never no, took Spanish same. in school. Oh, no, Once I got out of French immersion, I was like, fuck that. I am learning one language and getting really okay at that one language. And that's English? Yeah. And then, then you look at English and you're like, okay, so there's through, through, through. So, and tough. They're all spelt similarly. <laughs> and they all mean you... totally different things. Two ways to spell through. Through? Yeah, like a drive through and then through. And then through again. There's like three the different ball. ways. No, th- There's three different drive ways to spell through. Drive through is the bad way to spell. That's like, what's the original spelling of donut? D-O-U-G-H-N-U-T. False. What? D-O-U-G-H space 
Not N O U G H T because back what in the is day, wrong with our I don't know language. because back in the day donuts used to be like a knot is like a, a uh, bread twist and so they called it donut. Is that weird? It's weird. Yeah, I learned that on my first day in grade eleven English. I was like, I'm gonna blow people's minds and rust my life. <laughs> donut. You just blew my mind. Yeah, you know. What but yeah, like our language is so hard. It's like can means two different fucking words. A three letter word means two different fucking things. It's true. Or, oh, or it, it's, all the apostrophe, like the contractions. Oh, or, you know, trying to explain the differences between theirs. Theirs? Yeah. Which one is that? Okay, so there's... T-H-E-R... E-R-E apostrophe S, so no. there is... There. Just the different types of there. Okay. So the three different types. Yeah, so there, like, okay, let's go through all of them. So there's T-H-E-Y apostrophe R-E, so they are, they are, so they're possessive. And then there's there, which is T H E R, which is like to point to a direction. E R. Or E R E, whatever. To point, like to give directions, like over there. And then there's there as in like a family, like T H E I R. T H E I R? Yeah. That's why I didn't want to say it. I wasn't sure if it was I E or E R. Yeah. Well, E-I. I before E except after C, but that's a bad that, rule. That's the worst rule ever. Yeah. Well, it, it doesn't, for me it so doesn't far. work in more cases than it works for. How do you spell wiener? Is it E R or I E? Oscar I, 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 e, I, I e. want to say I E. I want to say I E too. That's fine. It's okay. But anyways, yeah. Canadians, a, Tampa Bay. Yeah. I'm back at it. Oh yeah. So game one, Bolts won two to one in two second overtime off a controversial call. Tampa Bay was it's offside. Because Montreal. It's no, Montreal. No, Tampa I know. Bay was I know. I know. I just like to. But they had the chance. Oh, to, I'm back. Hey, Good. look at you him. missed our English lesson. Oh, sorry. It's you know, okay, we're teaching the people. When grandparents call and then you don't call them back and then they call you back, you're like, oh, I should probably answer that. I just want to say, guys, for all the smack talk we're doing, a, Danny just yep. proved us right. He never calls them back. Yep. Oh, what a dick. <laughs> Got me. This guy. Crick. Asshole. Unbelievable. Biggest asshole in the world right now. <laughs> okay, yeah. so. Sorry, guys. Um, tell, oh, that's fine. But Say what? sorry to our listeners and mean it. They're upset sorry. that you weren't there. Sorry, weren't guys. Here. Whoever, the, I know, I, what's the, who's the guy that likes me? Unbelievable! Who's the guy? What? He plays on our hockey team, you dick! No, the guy that emailed us from... Oh, Nick! Nick. You mean Nick? We Nick. apologized wow. to Nick. Can we we already apologized to well, him, now I, we have to do it again. I'm apologizing. One. What's because, his name? One, because Greg didn't read his email for two weeks. And so you're two, welcome. Because I wasn't here, I'm sorry, Nick. I there you go. Bam, Where is he from? People. Connecticut. There Woo! you go. Okay. He's a, he's a, yeah, he's the Canes fan. We're like, we traveled similar paths. <laughs> You should see the look of disdain he's giving us right now. <laughs> he's like, we traveled similar paths. <sighs> drinking oh, his coffee. Oh, coffee. Oh, well, yeah. You know, um, drinking Tim Hortons. Hey, at least that, at least that franchise has a playoff win and a cup. Who's that? Oh, Carolina? Carolina. Carolina. Oh, Carolina. Tim and Tim Hortons. I thought you were talking about what? Tim Hortons. No. You know what they call Timbits in the States? Donut holes. It's so practical. Where's it makes sense. No, because, no, because, because it is. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it took me forever to figure out. I'm like, what the hell is a donut? Are, okay, are, do we donut? have to go for donuts after this? Because that's all you've talked about. Shouldn't so they be called no, donut? Shouldn't they be called donut plugs? Because they fill the hole. I don't know. Uh, um, such a what weird. is your mind on there, sir? Well, well, Whose internet off. search history should oh, we really come be on. looking? <laughs> Guys, I watched Fifty Shades of Grey in the weekend. Oh, did you? How was it? How was it? Awful. On ten. Ten being like how much? Can nudity? I go negative? How, how far much neg- nudity? Not as much as you think. Damn it! How was this room? Was there a lot of weird things you've oh, ever seen? Oh, there before? was some weird stuff. Like what? Was there a sex swing? Uh, yes. There was I hope people of get really hurt on those. This guy's literally this guy. Glad is, we have an explicit tag. This guy yeah, is, this. is is whipping this girl with some kind of mallet thing, and he hits her right in the vagina. Oh! Time. Yep. Great. Awesome. Is there blood? No. It's not. It's not that graphic. It's just okay. Well. Okay, yeah, it's let's go. Worth I'm still trying to figure out it's how we got two from hours. going to hockey to Fifty Shades of Grey. Donut, there's donut a connection. Donut holes, plugs, bam. I don't in. know. We're there. There's Honestly, a connection there. I'm saying is save yourself two hours. Don't watch it. All right. Instead, use that two hours to watch some playoff hockey. There you go. go. Good segue. Um, there yeah. All right. Saved it. So Tampa took game one, two to one. Off controversial overtime goal. Yes. Uh, off but the, the Canadians had time to clear it, and they didn't. So I blame them. Uh, game two. Stephen awakens. The force. <laughs> the force has awakened. As he like awakens. They won. The Bolts won six to two, and oh, they show no God. signs of slowing down. I was point. very happy with that. Uh, game three is going on right now. Oh, and game four is tomorrow. 
They're going back to back, really? baby. They're fixing it. Good. Why? Um, back to back. After the game, though, or oh, during the game, too. Brandon Prescott teed up. Because apparently. Teed up. Yeah, uh, Brad Watson, the ref, he was like, apparently, oh, Brandon yeah. Cross said, like, Brad Watson was antagonizing him in the box, and then he had some choice words, but he basically called Brad Watson, like, an idiot, and he's trying to play God, and he's always, yeah. and he got fined $5,000 for that. And through his elbow pad. A very Greg He threw his elbow pad, and then yeah, but let's be fair, the Brandon crowd. Press probably isn't the nicest guy on the ice, so, I mean. Yeah, he didn't do his team any favors there. Is that a goal? 1-1. What's the score? What are we doing? 1-1 one, one with 320 to go. Gallagher with a goal, eh? Get again. Get again. All right. Get again. Um, now we'll go to the West, unless you have anything to say about the Bolt Tab series. It seems as though when the Habs get down, it's it's over. Like for right now. Well, like I told this to my cousin today. Okay. Um, and I said, you take Carey Price out of that team. That team's nowhere where they should be right now. And Carey Price deserves all the credit he can get. Um, and right now what Tampa Bay is doing is they're exposing the biggest weakness on Montreal is the fact that they rely on a goalie. And if the other goalie on the other end is playing just as good as Price, you got Montreal's a not a very they're, good team. They're a very thin team. Very thin. Very thin. And small. I noticed that even like a couple years ago when I went to the Habs game with Dan, the Jets didn't have the roster they had this year, and it was they took it to them. They gave it to them. They had like, they're like one line. Maybe I'm biased because I'm a Jets fan, but... I watched the Montreal Winnipeg game the, at the end of the year this year, and if you take goaltending out of it, I think the Jets have a stronger team. They do have a stronger team. I think that Toronto has, has a str- no, but I, also no, but I, I seriously I do. I, no, I, think, I agree with you, and, and it's, it's I mean it just shows how good Carey Price. Well, is. I know, and you look at it, it's like okay, sure they have a Norris candidate def- or Norris winner, right? PK's won it. Yeah, he's won yeah. it. Well, but see, that's the difference between the Jets is that they don't have just that one guy. They have, I would say. Five guys on the in that decor that can easily not easily win a Norris by no means, but like can b- you can rely take on the load yeah. exactly. Yeah. Um, but you saw you saw what Ottawa did against Montreal in the first series was got in their face. Well, no, once the Ottawa started getting goaltending that was equal to Carey Price, because granted Hammond didn't play bad. You just have to play on a different level when you're playing against Carey Price, and yeah. he wasn't doing that in the first couple games. He let a couple soft goals in, you know they. Just two that one under the arm. But once they got adequate goaltending from uh, Craig Anderson, the series started to take a turn, and that's what happens. Is it, 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 Very easily, Ottawa could have won that series. Well, not easily, but they could have won that series. Yeah, I would say so. Well, it shows you last year, Mike Carey Price goes down, and then, you know, Rangers pretty much stomp all over him. Yeah, it's very You true. know, it's a, Tarski played well, I think. That's who yeah, played. but I think, you, I think you put Carey Price on almost every any team in the league, minus... Buffalo and probably Edmonton. A few teams, um, yeah. A few teams are the exception. And he makes him a playoff team. I told this to my cousin today. I was like, if you put Carey Price in Dallas, how does Dallas not make playoffs? How, how are they not a cup favorite? Yeah. If you put him in Winnipeg, you put him in Ottawa, how is that team not a contender? Yeah. Like... They've I would say out, players, outside you know. of the top, I would say outside of the bottom five. If Carey Price was on Detroit, there'd be no way Detroit didn't beat Tampa Bay. I'm trying to think of a team that didn't make playoffs that if you put Carey Price on, Blue like how much better he'd make them. Blue Jackets. Well. Uh, Blue Jackets already have pretty solid. They just Bobrovsky's have, deep. Okay, good. Philadelphia with Carey Price. But with how many injuries Columbus goes through. Yeah. If they, need, can, they can rely on a goaltender. That's true. That's true. Philly, but Philly with Carey Mason's Price. Mason's numbers are solid when he played. But I'm just saying, Carey Price numbers, Chris, uh, Steve Mason Of course, numbers. yeah. You put, fine, fine. If we're using Philly, you put Carey Price on Philly. That's We're a in the ridiculous playoffs, team. and you have a guy like Ginger Jesus, Claude Giroux. Obviously, I mean, takes pressure off your defense, takes pressure off exactly, exactly. and that's one thing you that put, would be nice to do. Sorry, in but you put Carey Price on the Islanders, they get over that hump, and I guarantee you, they play. They'd be playing New York, and probably be beating them in the series right now. If it was an Islander with Carey Price, that team would be cup favorites. Hold on, that would team one. would be scary. I got, I got one. Okay, Arizona. No, negative. Because they're in the bottom five group? Because... No! Like, Toronto. No! Because Toronto... It, it, the goaltending was bad, but it wasn't a, It wasn't the reason why they lost. They couldn't score goals. That's why. Oh, okay. They had, but like, if you have a better goaltender, it might give you confidence. Maybe. Not that the goaltending was bad in Toronto. Well, it wasn't great. Like, they were still getting lit up four times a game, but I wouldn't say that they'd be a playoff team. They By no means would they have been a playoff team. Okay. Um... I I don't yeah. There's no way they've been a playoff team. I I I do think they're overrated. 
Uh, not Montreal. Oh no, I, oh, I agree yeah. with you 100. percent Oh, other, I, sorry, I thought you were talking about Montreal. Other team, yeah. other still team, a playoff team that could have bet could have benefited from a guy that carried Price to to maybe squeeze in the playoffs. Could have been San Jose. Mm-hmm. That'd oh, be a dangerous yeah, team. They've always had the forwards, and they have a decent decoy. Yeah, exactly. Obviously. Obviously, all just hypotheticals, but that's kind of what he brings. And when he's out of the lineup, he's just not, or he's the, the team's just not the same. And uh, I don't know, I don't know of any other team that has relied so heavily on a goaltender to win them everything to I, get them there. I'd say the Rangers used to be like that, but what they did this year and went out and beefed up, I think they addressed that. But I think yeah. they, they used to be. Yeah, that was very true. I mean, last I, year, I f- last year, if it wasn't for Lundqvist, they would have gotten swept in the Stanley Cup final. Probably, yeah, because they got. You know, they got taken too. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't really know of, but like in the new era NHL, it's not like you can really win on on just a goalie. You can't do it anymore. Like, you, sure, you get the runs like JSU Uyghur had no three, but that 3 Ducks team still had some great talent on Let's it. Let's use a team where you can't just rely on a goalie, and they found out in the final Edmonton. Dwayne Rollison got hot. They didn't have a very strong team apart from Chris Pronger. Yep. That's true. They were the, the moment Rollison went down, it was over. They were, yeah, no, over. that's that is exactly. They were the, the last assistance. true underdog to really go all the way. Yeah, people say the Kings, but the Kings were an eight seed. But the, the, King, team. the Kings were no not way. an underdog. The yeah. Kings were not. No, they just not had a bad regular season, squeaked in, uh, and then just I would say them who they and were. Then just bent yeah. everyone over. It was yeah. like, yeah. Go. Very true. Okay, let's move to the uh, the West. Did you talk about the Rangers series already? We did. Yeah, yeah we started with that. Yeah, we because know. we knew you didn't really care about it anyways. You're you know not what? very excited. It's been entertaining. I've watched it all day. Oh, what? what? You're joking you me. Said, be honest. I said last week it would be entertaining, but nobody wanted to see it. I want to see it. I like watching it. I like entertainment. Sorry. You know what? I Sorry. I, 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 entertainment. I honestly, Do you like em- entertainment or non-entertainment? I honestly... I understand watching the Eagles for 16 seasons has made you a little bit hey. not enjoyment to entertainment, but... Because that hurts, okay? All our teams suck. We already know this. Oh, mama! What? What? Breaking update. What? Wait, 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 wait! wait. Da 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 da! Shut it up! Da da! With two seconds left in the third period. What? Tyler Johnson scores. Yeah! Yeah! Oh! Yeah! Yeah! Yeah, Tyler Johnson! Woo! So that is now three nothing. No! It's all gentlemen. It's all. Woo! That's awesome. That was, just, <laughs> that was just raw emotion. Oh, that was awesome. Coming through. I was about to be like, Dan, you tell us right now. You tell us. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I thought it was going to be, oh, Sorry, fuck guys. PK Subban with a goal. I was just gonna, Dan, I, I thought it. you were going to say, like, Galchenyuk or something else. Like, Please don't. He doesn't need any more folklore in the world. Okay, West, go. West. So the Flames taking on the Ducks. Uh, game one was a nice wake up call for the Flames. What happened in game one? What happened? It's what all all the goals went in. What didn't all happen? the goals went in game one against the six Flames. one Ducks? I was like watching a Timbits play our beer <laughs> league team. Like I don't know how else to describe it. It was keep away. They stopped playing like halfway through the first. <laughs> like, it happened in the second. Like, 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 this. like we're so Johnny unprepared. G- Johnny Gaudreau got benched in the third period, and you know why? It wasn't because he was having a bad game. Bob Harley's like. I sh- I told him in the uh, after the in the second intermission I'm not playing you in the third and he's like why and he's like I'm protecting you that's what he said he's like you're I'm not- worried you're gonna die yeah you're not ready you're not ready for this the flames are ready uh, Sam Bennett with the lone lone goal baby oh, hey whatever good for him mama. Uh, game two Carter Ramo held them in for the first two periods they were still down one nothing. And then the Ducks the decided to play again, and they won three nothing. This game, I I shit you not, this game could have easily been ten nothing. <laughs> but Kari Ramo played, stood he, on his head. He held held the fortress as long as he could, and then he's like, "Hey guys, you're not gonna <laughs> you're not you're gonna try and shoot." And they're like, "Well, Kari, that would involve passing the blue line, and we can't do that either today." So that team is stacked. And that was a rough one. Uh, and then last night, uh, game three happened. Flames won 4-3 in overtime. Gaudreau got the, uh, his first of this series, uh, tying the game with Clutch. Twi- like 20 per- seconds the left. The perfect shot. Oh, it, it, was really beautiful. Was. it really was. I just owe a big, big thank you to Sammy Vatanen. Simone Dupre was in the box already. Uh, and then Sammy Vatanen batted it. I don't even know why he did this. It was in the air, and he, he, uh, he was on the left side, uh, on the left top of the circle. Batted it up and out. Like, it was right in front of the ref, too. I've thought, you know what? I've never thought about this strategy. Punch it out. Punch it. I, I've never thought about this strategy before, but they mentioned it last night. 
Uh, I didn't see it, but allegedly Matt Stajan just bowled over Anderson, like, intentionally. Okay. And then it drew a duck in, coincidental minors. You do that, you go to 4-on-4, four four, you pull your goalie, you have a 5-on-4 power play. Very true. That's smart. I don't remember. I didn't... Well, I mean, I saw Stajan pull the goalie And apparently what over. he did was pretty deliberate. So, he, yeah. that's pretty smart. I never thought about that. That's pretty smart. They did pull their goalie, too. But, yeah. But if you oh, take coincidentals, if you can yeah. coax the guy that's in, smart. you get a power play. Nice. And they ended up having a six on three, I think. Yeah, it was, except, yeah, I Sammy mean, except it. the only issue I have with that is your potential four on four is Getzlav and Perry versus whoever you want to put out against Getzlav and wow. Perry. And on That's Cal- all I'm And on Calgary, right. it's a, have you, yeah. a draw. Have you seen, oh, have you seen Johnny Goudreau and uh, Sean Monaghan line up against like Getzlav and Perry? It's, it's boys to men. Yeah. Yeah. Monaghan's not physically like that tiny or anything. But, oh, geez. But anyways, um, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, but yeah, that was Goudreau's first of the series. It was 20 seconds left in the third to tie the game. Uh, and then Michael Backlund scored his first ever playoff goal. It was a seeing-eye shot from the blue, I think about seven or eight minutes into the game. Greg's having a hernia. You're right. I'm fine. Okay. Anyways, and uh, the Sea of Red. Just a child he got a win for the Sea of Red, baby. He did it. They're, they're, they haven't lost yet at home. No, yeah, good yeah, they, Anaheim they first are, lost too. Yeah, they are playing I, good hockey. Like oh, I still it's, think they're it's in different trouble, at home. I do want to say a few, you're not in trouble until you lose at home. I want to say a few true. points about uh, Perry and Getzlaff. Combined, have you seen like I don't know the exact numbers, but their averages uh, per game, like leading into this game, it was like three point eight four combined four points. points. And it's like other teams only like that's what the whole team. Well, Perry had four up. points game one. Yeah, and then. Um, Oh, Corey Perry last night passed Timo Solani for second all-time in playoff points. Who's first? Ryan Getzlaff is first, but here, I'll okay. go in order here. So yeah. Solani's third with 96 games played. He had 35 goals, 34 assists for 69 points. Wow. Getzlaff in 81 games played have, has 28 goals, 42 assists for 70 points. Getzlaff is first with 88 games played, 27 goals, 59 assists. That's a lot of assists. For 86 points. Uh, currently. Something else. Did you talk about... Nick saying who are you guys pulling for now that the Jets are out? No. no but we will we will when we're done the playoffs I, recap. I, I, I want to throw mine here because I yeah, we'll I, I haven't fallen in love with Anaheim, but I love I just you that, like the way they play that team is so good and there's you know, I hated Kessler when he played against the Jets, but standard standard cliche though with uh with hockey is uh the I ducks just, the ducks are a four line team. I, I they're deep. I like how they play. And you know what? Going they're tough. They're not a they're not a bully team like Boston, but they're tough. They're they're team tough. And going in, the question mark was their goaltending. And you know what? They're not making it about their goaltending because they're not letting you shoot. Yeah. They're they're making it very tough on Calgary to use their speed to their advantage instead. Because they're, they're clogging up the zone. Exactly. They're stepping up and cutting the pass off every time. It's ridiculous. It's almost, and this is where time helps you because any injuries they really had were healed up in that time that after they swept the Jets, which has given them time, obviously, to also probably dissect the games against the Flames. Now, in this series, something has to give, more, more or less likely, something's going to give in this series. Either the Flames are going to lose at home, or the Flames are going to finally have a win in the Honda Center. One of the two things is bound to happen in this series. It's just this what point. happens first. What do you guys think? Honestly, I the, think the Cal- way that... I think Calgary loses the next game at home. <laughs> The way the game was played last night, the momentum that Calgary carried, like they it was they lost like in my mind, they they were I thought they were gonna like when Gaudreau scored, I was like, Okay, well Flames are winning it. Like w- I had a good anchoring or a good feeling yeah. that Flames are winning it. But the before like before the third period, I was like, This is the this is the Ducks game to lose. They weren't playing to win it almost seemed like oh, okay. there was plenty of chances. Where they could have put it away, and they chose to make the pass instead of shoot. I thought it was kind of really weird, like beer league decisions. Oh, Obviously, okay. it's easier to say that from the comfort of my own bedroom. And yeah, coach, you know. You have to keep in mind though, Calgary did come back, but they were also nineteen seconds away from being down three nothing. Of course, mm-hmm. and so. with that and the momentum of the crowd, I say Calgary takes tomorrow. Okay, I think Calgary takes tomorrow. I want to say they win in Honda Center, but I think they lose in overtime in Honda Center, and then they take it uh, in Calgary, and then. Uh, anyone's it's anyone's game in game seven. If it, it goes matter. to game seven, I'd love for Calgary to pull it out, but realistically, I'll say the Ducks will probably win it because the Ducks know how to show up in elimination game. I've been wrong about Calgary several times, but I just I think Anaheim's just too good. 
This might have been Anaheim's wake up call last night too. For that, sure. That, it was you, well, do you think too. Bruce Brujo goes into that room and gives them anything but shit? Like he I don't think he does. <laughs> I you think mean, they like, know what to they say did. you're better than this? Like, yeah. he's going to get not, mad at them? Not mad at them. Just be like, this is what happens. You have to play a full 60, or you're not going to beat these guys. You can't quit. You can't you beat can't... anybody in the NHL. Well, you, okay, a, a few teams. You can't beat any playoff team by not playing a full game. Yeah, and you just, you can't look at the board, see 20 seconds left, and decide to give up. you got to play until you hear that buzzer. And that's what he's going to reiterate, and this is how. And he's like, those fans, the way you take them out early, big hit, big goal. And they can do it, and unfortunately, as much as I love seeing the Sea of Red, as good as it is and as nice as it is to see, you're playing against a team that's probably going to represent the West. Most likely. In the sure. Cup final. I mean, we could talk about the next years yeah. after. Oof. But as you said, play the whole game. Game one, Rangers, Caps. Yeah. They When Nicky Backstrom hit Dan Boyer, questionable call. The Rangers, a few, three out of the five were standing around waiting for the call. Boom, set it up, yeah. goal, game Don't over. For the call. And then, even back to uh, round one, Islanders caps. How Ovi, demo- or someone demolished John Tavares. And they were standing around looking for the call. And then, I don't know who it was, someone got it right in front of them for the Islanders. Shot, scored. Boom, game over. It was overtime. Mm-hmm. Or no, no, it wasn't overtime, but it was a go-ahead goal. You, and it's just stuff like that where you got to finish the game. You just have and to finish the game. And even back to Jets, really. Yeah. And, and I mean, that too. If Anaheim can come in here and into into the into Winnipeg and make it through two games here, like oh, yeah. beat that adversity, I, they can get through anything. Because that's probably the toughest environment they're going to have to go into this playoff. It, you know, it's kind of crazy. They maybe had the like, madhouse if well, well the, way, the way things are maybe, going though, maybe. they have to go through not one but three hockey hotbeds with Winnipeg, the sea, uh, well, the whiteout, the sea of red, and the madhouse in Chicago. With the way things are shaping up the sh- in the yeah. Minnesota series, of course. And then if they win that, then they could go on and play. Obviously, after tonight, it looks less and less likely. But they could have had to play like a Montreal, which is another insane fan right. base. Remember Corey Perry and Ryan Castle and them when they were doing interviews here? They were like, we love it. We yeah, love it. We'd rather true. play in front of fans that despise and hate us than fans who are indifferent. Okay. And so we love it. It fuels oh, yeah. guys. Like, oh, yeah. You saw Corey Perry... He and loves like it. Kessler, when Kessler scored, he just turned and he's like, "Yeah, baby, give it." <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. The, the 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 Ducks players liked playing here. Yeah, they didn't fear it, which you know, I, I can get that. It's fun. Yeah, if, but yeah, I guess you do feel off it. You want to feel. You want to silence the crowd. It's got to be a fun feeling. Yeah, that does. A, so, obviously, into the other series where the crowd is silenced, it seems, and kind of the Cinderella story that was almost a Cinderella story in Minnesota could be over as soon as tomorrow, I believe. Yep. Uh, they are down three nothing to the Hawks. On uh, game one, the Hawks won four to three. Uh, Tuvor Teravainen and got the game winning goal. It was his first playoff goal, and he was the first. Uh, he's the first Hawks rookie, or the youngest Hawk, Hawks rookie to score a game winning playoff goal since uh, Jeremy Roenick back in the day. So that's well, a long time. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, game two. Oh, any notes on game one? No, 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 no. Uh, game two, the Hawks came out four one. I have no notes about this because there's nothing to say other than the Hawks played. The Hawks showed what they're fully capable of. And come Game 3, the Hawks won one nothing. Uh, Patrick Kane, oh, that's what I was going to say, relay from Game 2 to uh, Game 3. Patrick Kane is uh, the anti-Rick Nash. He's pretty solid regular season. When playoffs come around... He's a different animal. He is a different animal. My God. Does he know when to turn it on? Now, Dan, you're the athletic guy here. You know injuries. You still think he's hurt. But what... How is he, he doing that he's good? Not, he's not 100%, I'll tell you that. Oh, we know he's not 100%. Okay, what was his injury again? Broken collarbone. Broken collarbone, and it happened 12 like... weeks is what you're supposed to be out. He was out for six? Se- yeah, like six and a half, seven. Well, maybe. guys, did you guys hear that Mark Gier- or Is it Mark Giordano? Yes. He could be coming back. They said at the before the yeah, surgery. Yeah, but he started, had a bicep tendon. He was surgically repaired. He was rehabbing it like crazy, which still okay. is, a, is a long time, but... Broken collarbone? Yeah, that, that's that, a that's bone. Fair. That thing has to set properly, and if it doesn't... That's probably you know, so like he's probably one good shot away from it being broken again. That's oh, what you okay. said at every podcast. He's probably since. he's probably rehabbing it still every day. He's probably in pain after every game, but you know what? He's, he's a, putting up the points. He's a champion. And he, um, you know. my my uncle made a very good point today. He said that at this point, it seems that Patrick Kane's inside Dubnik's head, where it's almost like every shot he puts in is going in or making it difficult. Like he almost has to second guess himself. It's like, oh shit, 88's got the puck again. I don't know if I can. What I said last it. week, and I'll say it again, 
Never been against Chicago in the playoffs. No, I know. I'm learning. Did that. you know that they haven't lost a round two series in like ever? Like set of their last seven tries or something. Like yeah, because the one year that they got knocked out in the first round, they didn't make it to round two. They were, exactly. They've been good since we graduated high school in 2009. Yep, they made it to the Final Four, didn't they? They've been, like, to the Western Conference Final how many years? And then Cup the next year. Unbelievable. Cup in 10, and then... Like 2010, then 2011, they were knocked out first round, and then they went to the Cup Final. No, uh, went to the 11, Conference Final. 11, they were knocked final. out. Vancouver? 11, they were knocked out. 12, they were Conference Final. 11 was against Vancouver. No, yes. 11... Oh, yeah, round, right, wasn't Boston. It? No, Correct. first round. Chicago or Vancouver? Yeah, yeah. no, Chicago. Sure. Remember Chris Campoli cleared it off in Burroughs? I was here yeah. watching with that you. That was round one? That yeah, was that round, was round one. one. It okay. felt better. The next year they were round one again of Arizona. They oh, lost to Arizona? Right, yeah, Mike that, Smith. You remember Arizona that? Oh, went, yeah. It was King, Kings Coyotes Conference Final. Coyotes almost went to the Stanley Wall. They didn't almost go. They got beat five games. But I remember that. I remember yeah. that. And then, and then ever since then they've been Conference Final, Cup Final. Or uh, cup champions, cup, cup final, or no, yeah, no, yeah, cup champions, Kids conference final. final. So in the last six years, they're final. three and three for appearances yeah. in the cup. In that, like three years, they've gone. Three years, they've they've either been to, they got tossed. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's good. They're a good team, and they have another chance to do it with tomorrow being the deciding game potentially. Game four, game four, which we could see our second sweep in a series. A lot of people thought was going to go seven, but looks like it's not. Which. Just, do you think of the series, the two, Bolts, Habs, Wild Hawks, do you think both get swept? At this point in my mind, I say both get swept. I say Minnesota wins tomorrow. I say Montreal gets swept. I can see, yeah, I'm going to go pretty much what he said, yeah. I, I, just, I, don't, I don't know why, it's just I have the feeling. He's well, been getting against Dubnik all year. It's yeah. time to go with well, Dubnik. Tampa Bay is in, the whole team is in Kira Price's head. So yeah. The reason I say Minnesota wins is they're at home. The reason I say Montreal loses is they're on the road. Uh, that's fair. Maybe. They gave away both both and home games. Tampa, Ta- how do you do that? Tampa Bay, since well, they I'm barely guessing. beat the Red Wings, I think that woke them up a little bit. Because they, they, they were like supposed to team. cakewalk over the Red Wings, and they were lucky they won that series. Very yeah, lucky. I took Tampa in five. Tampa. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, very lucky. No, it's funny. One of the guys down goes Brown on Twitter. Um, he he made his like playoff preview or whatever, and he was like, "Yeah, it looks like the easiest series to call is Tampa Bay Detroit. I'm gonna pick it." They're the most likely series to go only four games, Tampa sweeping them. But knowing the playoffs, it's probably going to go to seven with Detroit winning in overtime because that's the way playoffs work. And, they go and that almost against happened. Against everything that people think. Like, it's not... It, throw stats out the window. It's just... It's a totally different... As Blake Wheeler season. said once they made the playoffs, he said, they were like, oh, what do you think your chances are against Ducks? And the person named off a few stats, and he's like, oh, it's a playoffs. Once you're in, everyone's equal. You goddamn right. It's like. true. It's yeah. true. It, it doesn't matter. It's so. LA even... Kings, this is my example. Four, f- eighth seed, they lost four games. Yeah. And they won the Stanley Cup. They lost four games. Two of them in the Stanley Cup final. Yeah. One, one on purpose, they went at home. I'm yeah. convinced. I'm, I'm convinced. still convinced. Yeah, me too. What did the first team to win at home in like a while? Yeah, they won in 2012. Last both team to do it was the Ducks. Both at home. Kings won both their cups at home. Wait, wait, who did they play the first time? New Jersey. New Jersey. And it was six. In six. And they beat Rangers. Oh, five. yeah, yeah. They I'm lost game that five one. They purpose. lost game oh. five in New Jersey by like a goal. And then they got in game six, they beat them like 7-1. I'm it like, wasn't even yeah. it wasn't Okay, even fair. come on. Yeah. <laughs> really? Would you do that? Like, no one. Would you do that? To, would you tarnish your, a record or something like that? Like, okay, say if you went like you were 15-0. and 0, and if, if you knew you could win. Win at home? Don't you just take the win at home? Would you? I think you no, take no, the but, win at home. If you're oh, fifteen and zero, you go for the perfect record. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, but you'd already be at home. No, you wouldn't. Never mind. Necessary? Not necessary. No. Yeah. You go for the record. Okay. Yeah. But yes, yeah. that's true. In their predicament, that's scary. Do you think? They did it on purpose. They had to. They were, they too were good. so Marty's good. Never, that he'll year. never say. They he'll were never too say. good that year. You know, you walked into that final saying, "Okay, Kings are going to win this." They win game one, game two, game three. I think it was. I think they're up three nothing, and. In game four, they're like, well, like, they gave New I'd Jersey like a little bit of a... I'd like to go back and watch that game They, like, to see. gave them a little bit of line. We're like, hey, well, we won't try super hard. And then game five, you could, like, tell. They're like, hey, we want to win this at home. Step, like, <laughs> they just let it go If back. I'm correct, they beat Vancouver in five, swept St. Louis, and then beat uh, Phoenix in five. Yeah. That was, I think, how I'm they pretty, got No, five. wait, 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 wait. They definitely swept Wasn't St. Louis. Wasn't it St. Louis, then Vancouver? No. It no, it was Vancouver. Vancouver. First oh, series. Really? Vancouver that, that was the wait, one. So St. Louis that, that was the one year they got past the first round. I was just going to say, yeah. holy yeah. smokes. <laughs> and then they had to fucking and play then they the got Kings. Swept. <laughs> it's like, congratulations, now you play the Kings. 
with what? Jeff Carter, Mike I, Richards. I remember that year because everyone's like, oh, Kings Blues, this is going to be a great series. And LA's like, <laughs> beep, no. beep, come <laughs> through. All aboard. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. So we think, yeah, Hawks are, are wild are going to take their next Yeah, game. I think it's, it's I over think it's in Hawks five. in five. Though. I think it's over in five. Yeah. All right. And we're obviously okay. still sticking to you think Rangers, Caps, Caps? What bandwagon are you guys on to answer? No, I think, oh, you know what? I, I wouldn't be surprised if the Caps beat the Rangers. Okay, what bandwagon am I on? Well, obviously we know Minnesota and... Minnesota, Calgary. Okay, if you had to pick an East team. Okay. So... I picked the, the Caps and the Bolts to play each other in the Eastern Conference Final only because it's a win-win for me. Why? If Tampa gets in, Stamkos is in the final. So I'm taking Stamkos. I want to see... <laughs> but if... if if Washington win, I'm equally as happy. Why? Ovi. Ovi's in the final. Playoff Ovi is best Ovi. And if Ovi wins the cup, it shuts everyone the hell up. You know They're I like, want? oh, he's got a... So he doesn't have individual algorithms. I don't give a shit. I want you to want see, a cup. I want to see Anaheim, Tampa Bay, because it's the first time I can find that you can wear shorts to every game. <laughs> nice. Yeah. So you think you're convinced it's going to be Anaheim. Those are your... Anaheim, Tampa is what I'm leaning towards right now. CK, I'm on the... As much as I know that Calgary is in David versus to Goliath, your East, yes. Though, I guess if I had to pick one, it's Ovi because I want to shut the haters up. Okay, I love Ovi. To answer Nick's question, which ba- which team am I rooting for? It's Washington. Okay, um, I wouldn't be mad. If- I I would love to see some of those guys get their brain holpy. Uh, Mike Green. John Carlson, even though he's won a world championship or a world junior. Yeah, uh, we know that one. Alex Ovechkin, Nicholas Backstrom, Marcus Johansson, first year for Evgeny Kuznetsov. Like these guys, they're a good team. And probably the biggest reason why I want to see Washington win it, Barry Trotz. I was just gonna yeah. say that. Yep. And but even if Nick Backstrom, see Nick Backstrom would vilify you like everyone oh. always question like, oh he of course he's a number one center. But he always goes to the wayside. Like I've yeah. seen top ten lists where he's not even in it. And I'm like, how the heck? What? She's one of the that's, best. She puts that's sixty assists up like every year. Like, yeah. how can oh, you he's, not? He's have one of the top it. ten players in the league. I say. Yeah. yeah. But I think it vilifies Ovechkin even more because then you, now you can say he's just as good as Crosby. Exactly. He's a cup exactly. He's um, a cup so you're going Ducks. Is that kind of your team? The, the Ducks, the team I would like to see, but I'm Washington. I wouldn't complain. I honestly, the team I don't want to see is Montreal. Yeah. I'm and Chicago, you. just because Chicago is one enough. I I don't want to see New York or Montreal. I'm happy with any other team. Okay, to be I'm honest. That one. Because it's Taves and wow. Kane yeah. okay. and Sharp. If it came down to if it comes down to Ducks Hawks, I'm gonna have a hard that's gonna be a hard pick because I know you don't bet against the Hawks, but as for the Ducks It's so hard to bet against them. Okay. The Ducks would have beat the Jets and the Flames, so I shouldn't cheer for the Ducks. But I cheer for the Ducks just to be like, you know what, Hawks, you've had your time. Go away. Stop yeah. it. Yep. So I'd enough. probably pick the Ducks, and you know what? I won't have a hard time cheering for either team. Um, yeah. Uh, another few things to note before. I don't know if you Well, no, I want to talk a little about the uh, World Hockey Championships. Perfect. Yeah, no, that's what we're, we're lead into. Uh, Crosby is captain. He seeks, uh, he's trying to join the Triple Gold Club. Oh, really? He's never yeah. won a World Championship? No. Oh, okay. Last time Canada won was 2007, and Crosby, last time he was there, was 2006. They haven't okay. won it since 07? No, sir. Wow. No, was, was 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 that the year that Anson Carter scored the overtime goal? Maybe. Man, your memory is better than mine. No, it's for that. Like, like An- Anson Carter went in seventy seven. There's no Jets on Team Canada. Eh? No. Didn't Paul Maurice coach that team last year? There's a Manitoban on Maybe. there. Cody Eakin. Cody Eakin. Cody Eakin. Yeah. yeah. Um. No, I was just gonna say I think when it, uh, Canada won today f- over Sweden, being down three nothing, they won four three. Six four. Six four. You guys, that's what I was gonna yeah. say about this. Okay. So they also beat Germany ten nothing. There's always ten yeah. Nothing. There's always the mainstays on this team, mostly the Oilers. Matthew um, Shane. Oh, no, look yeah. at what Taylor Hall's doing with the center that can play next it's to your Connor McDavid. Yeah, I don't. I, I wanna, Who's the center though? Who is Ma- Taylor Duchesne. Hall? Oh. No, okay. I'm not saying Con. I know you love Duchesne. I'm not. I'm not belittling Duchesne, and I'm not. I'm just saying. Look yeah, at what he's no, doing with a well, center. That team will still be awful with no defense and goalsetting, though. Dan, I, I can't. I, I don't know, man. They might be pretty good. They get a coach. They're oh, they're talking. They're talking to McClellan right now. Are yep. they not hiring the coach they had last year? Is he? That's not a no. No, I don't believe so. No, what was his name? I don't remember. I, I don't know his name. I wish I could answer that for oh, you. Sorry, sorry, guy. 
Yeah, sorry, sorry, sir. Yeah, sir. sorry, sir. You weren't very important. Obviously. Anything else to say about world, world um, championships? This team is ridiculous, by the way. It's super sick. It, this ridiculous. is the resurgence of Mike Smith, and he's upping his trade value for Phoenix and could actually get traded. Do you think if... Uh, I don't know if we talked about this. If... Edmonton signs uh, Todd McClellan. Oh, and Martin Jones is playing quite well as well, and also another trade bait value person. Okay. If they sign, if Todd McClellan signs uh, with Edmonton, do you think he lures in Niemi or St- Stalock to come play for him? Or if Babcock, if Babcock lines, do you think Edmonton makes a move for uh, Jimmy, Jimmy Howard? Howard? Yes, I think Babcock. We, we talked about this last week. Oh, did yeah, we? Yeah, we did. Okay, yeah. um, sorry. I read or I, I read an interview with Babcock. I don't think he's leaving Detroit. No, I don't think so either. He's because it, 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 in his interview he basically said every time he's gotten a new job, it's because the job he went to was a better job, and he said right now there is no better job than coaching the Red Wings. So I I think he's staying. And they did say on NHL.com today that uh, he's waiting out. The Detroit Red Wings are waiting till May to make the decision. Well, he said last week he'd know in ten days, so he must. It, it has to be the Red yeah. Wings. And it spe- has to be the Red Wings. Speaking of coaches. Former NHL Jets coach Claude Noel is writing for NHL.com. If you What's he chat. writing? Like articles about his vest. No, about like just teams and like how cool. they're breaking down and stuff. He yeah. left coaching the Giants for that. Uh, um, just teams it, out. Uh, he, it was an agreement for the Giants that he'd help them out for the rest of the year. He didn't uh, ever plan on staying. He'll probably somehow find an associate coach. I somewhere. think he'll be back with the Moose at some point. Yeah. Um, Ray Ooh. Shiro got hired as the new GM of the Devils, yeah. so Lou Lamorello saga is over for GM. But he's still in there, like hockey operations or something. So his goal to make the oldest NHL team came true last year. See if they can get even older this year. No, Ray Shiro. Bring out, bring back Dustin Penner and lost the Yager, Todd Yeah, Ray Shiro will turn it around for they sure. Will. Um, they oh, will. Columbus Blue Jackets said they have decided as a franchise um, who their captain is, but they're going to announce it next season. Do we have any closing words, by the way? Because Greg, you got to. Greg's having know. a baby or Greg's a Greg's been walking or... around for like three minutes putting have everyone to on edge. Yes, like really badly. Wow. Wow. No, no not, I, don't, I don't go into other you, people's houses because I always destroy You're going to hold toilet. it home? Yes. That's terrible. Just I have cool. to. No, I have to. Good for I have you. to. What do you mean you it's have to? I have to. Man. What if... Okay, well, now that we're here, no, no. we have time to talk. Let's put we this height. We have plenty of time to talk. Situation. You can hold it? Really? Yeah, I can. I'll be fine. No, he's going to hold it. He's going to wreck his bowels. I'll be fine. What if... Get me an update, though, on the Washington... Two one caps. Boom! Burakovsky scored again. Yeah. Beautiful. Another rookie doing great things in Washington. Okay, hypothetical. Totally not related to hockey. Okay, so say you go for a weekend getaway with one of the honeys. Honeys. Okay, honeys. well, yeah, obviously. Well, what do you mean, yeah, obviously? Well, of course I'm going to poop at, at a hotel. Not they, at my friend's house. No, you're at a cabin secluded. There's That's one fine. Washroom, That's fine. Clog it. That's there's, fine. There's you bushes. Clog it. Because I can still get rid of it. When I'm at a friend's house, it's very embarrassing because there's this time. It happened about two weeks ago where I pooped at a friend's house, clogged it. Then we all found out and his parents were informed that they didn't have a plunger. Who doesn't have Dan, do you have a plunger? Somewhere, yeah. See? We'll yeah. find it. We can help. No, I'm fine now. It's secluded. It's you know how you settled. clear up that? You drink an Oreo ice cap. Those are not my friend this year, man. Oh, they yeah. I still a... haven't tried the creamy chocolate chili yet. Creamy, cho- creamy I chocolate I will not. I will yeah. not. I haven't had an ice cap in a little while, and it's been nice. My body is kind of like... Recently. Shut the hell up. What did you have on the way here? Hey, that's a milkshake. That's totally what? Yeah, get totally out of town. Get, shut from up. From where? DQ. DQ. That's like not a... an ice cap. There's no coffee. Cup. No caffeine. No so different. It's, it's so just good. as bad for it's you. It's so good. FYI, there is a s'mores frappuccino at Starbucks now. S'mores frappuccino? Is that a cold one? And they, yeah. Damn. And they have happy hour now. But we'll go fraps from three to five. If this was your first last minute in podcast you've ever listened to, we got off. We don't normally one. talk like this all the time. I think we do. We do. But when we this do, was this was like forty percent hockey, sixty percent nonsense this week, which is fine. totally fine. Greg and I. It's only going to get worse as the summer comes. Yes. So my yeah. question. Uh, what episode are we on now? Forty one. Are we forty one? Mikey Smith. We're forty one. Okay. Yeah. Um. I actually had this, this is actually a question I have for you guys. If you were to pick the top five captains in the league, who is on your captain's list? Ooh. Top five captains. Unbiased or biased, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Whatever you think. Whatever you think. Hey, Dan, you go first. Oh, I gotta think. Okay, I'll go. I can name him. Oh, yeah. Giroux. Of course. Taves. Cap. Okay. Yeah. Um, oh, you know what? Come back to me. Giroux and Taves for it's sure. It's tough. Okay, I'll say Taves. Yep. Getzlaff. Oh, Getzlaff's on my list too. Good one. Uh, Zetterberg. Okay. Oh, it's tough. Well, okay. 
I'll give you guys my list. I was gonna okay, say, and then we'll build. I was gonna list. say Lad, but I don't even think he's the best leader on the Jets, quite <laughs> frankly. So <laughs> at least he's on. He got nominated for like Mark he got Lizzie's nominated league. because he played with a sports hernia for four months. That's why he got nominated. He won't win. He's having he surgery. might. I mean, he'll be right against that. He's Mark, Mark Messi picked him for a reason. Yeah. So right, surgery so. Friday to fix that hernia. Yeah. yeah, Lad's a good leader. I mean, I don't know if he's top oh, five. Did you hear about Jamie Ben? No. Jamie Benz might be out, like, he's having surgery or had it already. He might be out till the end of November. Okay, um, yeah. so my, my, my five are Jamie Benn, uh, John Tavares, God damn it. Sidney Crosby. Ooh, Tavares is a good one. Crosby? Oh, my God. <laughs> he's a good leader. Okay, I'm sorry. How many? Oh, and then Taves and Getzlaff. Taves and Getzlaff. And a close six okay. is Alex Vovechkin, but four, he's not really a leader. Four for me is Tavares. Last one. Stamkos could be close to that one too. Oh, this is tough. We all know you want to pick Eric Carlson. It's okay. We understand. How about how about double Dion? Dion for enough. No. Nope. Uh, um, ooh, I got another great one for you. The Columbus Blue Jacket captain. Boom. Mystery man. <laughs> for now. Dustin Brown. Willie um, Mitchell in Florida. Um, uh, Dan, no. I'm really even better. One. Even better. Joe Thor. Oh wait, shit. I'm choking. I knew he wasn't captain. Yeah, who's your How captain? about Shane Doan? Shane Doan? Um, I could name one that Dan might like. David Backus. Nico Koivu? David Backus. Oh, yeah. Mm, yeah, he's all right. Actually, I don't know if he's top five, but... Okay. I'll... Oh, oh, I got it. Yeah, I got my okay. list. I got my list. What's your list? Okay, Giroux, Taves, Getzlaff, Tavares, Shea the Woodsman Weber. Oh, okay. Yeah, Shea yeah, the yeah, Woodsman that's Weber. Right. That's fair. That's a good one. Yeah. That's fair. So you have Zetterberg, Getzlaff, Taves, Tavares... Taves, Tavares. So you're one more. Oh, well, let's go through the teams Born, then. I will say I like Cam's. I like Weber. Okay. Okay. To wrap it up this week, we talked about the major league. It's time to mention the minor leagues. Oh yeah. And the Winnipeg Moose. Sorry, the Jets. Manitoba, Manitoba Moose. Jets. What are they? I don't Manitoba know. Manitoba Moose. Manitoba Manitoba jerseys jerseys look guys, guys, I don't care. That jersey looks awesome. There's nothing blue and white about a moose. I don't care. It's the elusive blue moose, Greg. <laughs> God. You've never seen it. I don't care. You know it's... what? I'm happy they went back with the moose. Yeah. They There's can... a reason they didn't buy an Ice Caps jersey, because it was a Jets jersey. And now I probably won't buy a moose jersey, but if I do, it's probably going to be Joel Armia, because he's awesome. I think I'll buy a hoodie. Uh, ha, you're forgetting Jason Jaffrey. They have he's, to re-sign him for you, Jay. That's oh, fine. They're going they to. Well. Sign he's he's going to he's gonna get his he's number. Gonna his gonna number is going to get retired. We're going to have an AHL update now on the team. Oh, my God. That's a new segment. AHL update. He's no, wait. Out in the, what, what could the segment be? Out in the wild? I'm on the herd. I'm, I'm on, on the, the herd. herd. Boom. Oh, I'm yeah. on the herd. Yeah, yeah. man. Here we go. Oh, boy. We go from flight plan to among the herd. Yeah. Right. Flight recap? Flight. Like, flight like, synopsis. Fuel, 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 fuel. Flight synopsis. That's weak. This is bad. <laughs> we should talk about this off air. Like, this is whatever. No. That's what makes us great. We show you everything, literally. Yeah, there are no walls. Yeah. We break down the first to fourth wall. Everything's broken. Yeah. There's like 12 walls. I mean, here. think about all the things we've even talked about on this podcast. We've, porn has come up plenty of times. Master. We talked about my poop. poop. The show. You dumb poop. Yeah. Uh, what else? We... town. Hey, God. We talked about different. F- uh, we talked about English words today. Lessons we, we did. We took you guys on a magical ride. And you've almost hit your destination of an hour long podcast. Ha- are we going we're for the hour? There. Guys, yeah. we're struggling. We don't to have hour. to go to the we're hour. We're struggling we to get to the hour. This is bad. No. I know. Remember we said at the start of the like the new year, we're like, we're not gonna go over an hour. Uh, we, we like have, we said like forty five. <laughs> break, <before. laughs> break walls, break walls. That's all we do it's here. The ceiling, and you just gotta break the ceiling. <laughs> Just power through. power through. Power through. If you don't know, we're making thrusting motions. Like 22 Jump Street up. style. Yeah. There we go. Um, but how long do you guys think the AHL franchise in Winnipeg is viable? Second question, do you think it could become a new norm for NHL teams to do? Answer your second question first. I like the new, I like it. I like when teams are in the same city. It works great. You can move guys up and down very fast. Marley's do it to save a lot of cash. And you, you it's, it's second nature because it's yeah. down the hallway. Mm-hmm. Like actually. And with how cheap the tickets are? Exactly. And fun. to answer your question, how long is it viable? Um, I think it gives the families who didn't either missed out on jets or just couldn't afford it or people couldn't afford it, like us, like on our own, 
I couldn't afford a jet season ticket. Yeah. I can most certainly afford a season ticket. Like maybe uh, not maybe not a full season. The but mini like packs. Mini packs, like the breakdown for P three section. Well, I'll tweet pictures, but P three is fifteen bucks a game. P two is twenty dollars a game. P one, best seats in that, so twenty five bucks a game. Fine, even if you don't get a pack, it's maybe gonna be like thirty five. Yeah, that's and you have super. to figure they only have to sell about four or five and, thousand tickets to be to And be how many nights yeah. like or how many times are we all gonna be hanging out in the middle of the afternoon, like Saturday, being bored or something and, and being like Go see oh, it's game. minus 30 then It's like, oh, Moose play. You want to go that? Sure, let's and go. And you can get yeah. good seats. Yeah, exactly. I, I think it. I think it's good. Um, I think it could be something that could happen for other teams, you know, like the Minnesotas and Columbuses, just to, like, cut down costs. Um, it has to be in the right market, though. And the problem is, is, like, um, if you were to do, like, Edmonton, Calgary, like, it'd work in Vancouver, it'd work in Montreal, it might work in Ottawa, but, like, the problem with, like, Ottawa, Edmonton, and Calgary is they also all have WHL or OHL franchises there. They have CHL franchises in those cities. So it does make it a little bit tougher to, um, to you know, be able to attract enough fans and have enough ice time. Because you have to not only use the ice for three things, you also have concerts and other events as well. They're going to have hockey for three to four nights a week from now on. I think it'd be yeah. tough to do it in some American cities because there's, there's basketball. There's yeah, the, the, very the true. NHL barely gets on the radar. For the so. smaller, okay, not the Class A, like Las LA, Vegas, New York and great stuff. AHL market. Las Vegas. Chicago. They tried ECHL, it didn't even work there, but Ch- that's because it's too low. Chicago almost. does AHL and NHL. D- different yeah. buildings, but yes, they still do right. it. And it, you know what? And Philadelphia Chicago used Wolves to do wasn't it. even their affiliate for a very long time. Like no, Chicago they just used to so be Atlanta. To have a team. Yeah, that was weird. That's weird. Like Chicago, Chicago wasn't even Chicago. Chicago was Atlanta, then Chicago yeah. was Vancouver, now Chicago is Chicago. Chicago. Yeah. Because before it was like Rockford. Yeah, Ice Hogs. Yeah. Okay. Closing words, guys? Thanks for listening. I'm having fun. Yeah. Yeah. I love playoffs. You ha- you have to leave us soon, Cameron. Playoff Ovi is best Ovi. Yeah. Guys, next Cam's week leaving. we could find out like at least half of our conference finals. It'd be kind of disappointing if all the series is and and that fast though, but a Ducks Chicago conference final is a good conference final. A Tampa Bay Washington conference final that's a good conference final. Those are so, great. Four, those are good four teams. Yeah, and you better not put them at the same time. Oh my god! Enough of that crap. What was up with that last night and what? tonight? Since Saturday, because they don't yeah. want to compete with Manny Pacquiao. What that, that was a bullshit fight. I eh? think that I heard that's that my fight was terrible. Yeah, it was not worth a hundred dollars apparently. So but guys, you... check out our Twitter. At last man in PC. Our email, oh. lastmanNPC at gmail.com. Did we I'll check all the questions. Did we, we talk did. to everyone? Do we, have, do we have anything? He asked, well, Nick asked a lot of questions that we're going to answer in we're the off-season. We're going to answer in the off-season. Because we're going to have Nick, a lot of time. We, uh, we're going to have tons we'll make of make sure we actually air. check week to week. I will. I'll start doing it because Greg can't. And guys, Cam, I blame I'm myself too. I'm busy doing nothing at home all day. I play video games. Yeah. What all else right. do you want from all, me? Dan, closing words? I'm too busy unclogging toilets. Stay classy, everybody. All right, thanks, guys. See you You're later. not wrong.